All right, so this is my uh, vacuum sealed exposure unit. My glass is about 54 and 3 quarter inches by 46 inches. Um, if you want to come over here. So it's pretty large. I just got a, a wood frame right here, just two by fours. It's held together with um, just some, some hinges and strips. It's attached right here, just by four by four. And a hinge, it's hinged in the middle so it kind of teeters. So um, I have it, the reason why I have it on a hinge is because because of the large exposure area, I need my light to be roughly uh, five or six feet away to properly expose my screens. So I, I have it, uh, my light's gonna come at it horizontally. So my, uh, my vacuum frame comes down. And just like any other build, that latches come down, lift the frame up. This is kind of cool actually. So that my frame, um, so that it locks into place. Uh, when it's up, so I have it locked, I pull this string right here. And down here I have boards on hinges. So if you want to videotape that, I have a rubber band so that when I pull the string away, they go down so I can freely move it up and down. But when I need to, I pull it and they lock into place. So now my frame is totally sturdy. So I'll load my screen. Good, we got the glory of the Lord on here. Saving power through Jesus Christ. Load my screen right here. I'm working on getting some uh, hydraulic hinges, some uh, strong arms to keep my uh, my vacuum top up. But that's easy. I just gotta get those online somewhere. So I just got some neoprene right here, just from a. Uh, foamorder.com. I got a local welder to weld my frame here and I just uh, used self-tapping screws to get my aluminum uh, all around my frame and I used contact cement to glue the top of my neoprene down and then I and then I cinched in my screws to just kind of lock it in. I just got your regular like toolbox clamp hinges and a, a, a handle right here on the back I have a piano hinge. I've got a piano hinge just so it lifts up. And then right here is just a simple hookup. I've got a uh, quick release pump. And then I just got a vacuum hose. I've got a vacuum pump. It's a 2.5 CFM two stage vacuum air pump. I got it at harborfreight.com. And I just got a, 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 ugh, a valve right here. So, uh, so we'll turn it on. So it's all, the screen's loaded. Turn the pump on. pump kind of start uh, pulling air, you turn the valve, you pull the string, and the, the boards come down. This is totally sealed right now. It's holding my, um, it's holding my frame tight to the glass, and uh, it, will, it will hold this without me having to kick the pump on for about, mm, I'm going to say 12 minutes, it will keep a good hold. And when it begins to loosen up a little bit, I just turn the pump on and it goes right back to where it was. So um, I'm working on getting my light here. Once I get my light, I'll retake the video and get my exposures. Uh, this glass is actually special glass. It's starfire glass. It's low iron content, which allows for quick exposures. And um, yeah, man, just wood screws, t-shirt forms, a lot of research, a lot of hard work, and God. And that's my... Exposure unit. Post your thoughts. Thanks for watching.